The M4 Sherman tank was produced in several variants and it was also the basis for a number of related vehicles. In addition, Shermans have been modified by several nations for modernization upgrades to complete hull conversions for another task. Overview When the Sherman tank was initially created, it was designed around U.S. theory about how medium tanks, and full-track armored vehicles in general, should be utilized on the battlefield. In U.S. doctrine, the medium tank's job was to assist infantry in the assault and provide a base of fire to fight from. Taking on enemy tanks were the job of purpose-built tank destroyers. The UK, which was a major user of the Sherman, differed in doctrine, tanks were expected to engage enemy tanks. The wide array of special duties that a tank could be used for were just being explored by armies around the world in the early 1940s. Theories of what vehicles were supposed to be engaging enemy tanks changed as vehicles like the Shermans often found themselves up against enemy armor, and consequently some of the most important initial changes centered around upgunning the basic vehicle. Improving the vehicle's mobility, protection, and creating specific variants for infantry support roles soon followed. Similar modification of the main armament would be done by the British who received a number of Shermans during the course of the war. Turning earlier variants of the Sherman into armored personnel carriers or kangaroos was also common, as was turning them into recovery vehicles. More radical variants followed, first with experiments with flotation screens in preparation for the invasion of Europe by Allied forces in 1944, and later by the addition of rocket launching equipment mounted on the turret. Extensive work on creating mine clearance devices to be attached to Shermans or out of Shermans in some fashion was also conducted up until the end of the Second World War. After the end of the Second World War, large numbers of surplus Shermans were supplied to other nations, but primarily to South America and the Middle East. Israel became the largest post-war user of Sherman tanks, conducting extensive modifications to keep them in front-line service right up into the early 1970s as tanks, mobile artillery pieces, armored ambulances and more. Many saw action in the 1973 October War. Similar modifications and purchases of Israeli-modified Shermans were done in South America where they served on as the last fighting Shermans right up until 1989. U.S. Variants Us M4 Subtypes, M4A Continental Radial Engine Welded Hull 75mm Short Barrel Cannon Users, U.S., Britain, Poland, France, M4, 105, upgraded with 105mm Mortar Cannon, designed for infantry support rather than anti-armor. M4, 105, HVSS, M4, 105, with HVSS. M4A1, Continental Radial Engine. One-piece cast hull. 75mm short barrel cannon. Users, US, Britain, South Africa, Poland, M4A1, 76, W, France, China, M4A1E4 per meter 4A1, 76, W, upgraded with 76mm1 gun. M4A1E8 per meter 4A1. 76, WHVSS, upgraded with wood track horizontal volute spring suspension, fitted with a 76mm1 gun. M4A1E9, late war remanufacturing, applique armor, new vision cupola and oval loaders hatch on the turret roof, spaced out VVSS suspension, extended end connectors on both sides of the tracks, but retaining the old 75mm3 gun. Users, Chile. M4A2, diesel powered. Welded hull. 75mm short and long barrel cannon. Users, USSR, US, France, Britain, Poland. No US Army combat use except for DD conversions for the Omaha landings. M4A2 E4, upgraded with torsion bar suspension. Never put into production. M4A2 E8 per meter 4A2. 76, WHVSS, upgraded with wood track horizontal volute spring suspension, fitted with a 76mm M1 gun. M4A3, Ford GAAV8 engine. Welded hull. 
both 75mm and 76mm cannons used. Users, U.S., France, Nicaragua. The M4A3 was the preferred U.S. Army vehicle. M4A3, 75, M4A3 with 75mm M3 gun. M4A3, 105, M4A3 with 105mm mortar cannon used for infantry support rather than anti-armor. M4A3 E2 assault tank, post-war nickname Jumbo Extra Armor, vertical sided turret, but about 3-4 a mile per hour slower. Built with 75mm gun but frequently rearmed by the using units with 76mm guns. Grousers fitted to the tracks. Users, US, France, M4A3 E4 per meter 4A3, 76, W, M4A3 with 76mm M1 gun. M4A3 E8 per meter 4A3, 76, WHVSS, upgraded with weird track horizontal volute spring suspension, fitted with a 76mm high velocity cannon. M4A3 E9 per meter 4A3, 105, HVSS, upgraded with weird track horizontal volute spring suspension. M4A4, Chrysler A57 engine. Welded, length and hull. 75mm gun only is built. Users, Britain, France, China, Lebanon, Nicaragua. Sherman Firefly Sherman VC, about 2000 were rearmed by the British with their 17-pounder guns as the Sherman Firefly. M4A5, no US vehicle was built with this designation. The number was meant to signify Canadian production. Known as the Grizzly Eye in Canada, M4A6, diesel engine. Composite cast welded hull length and similarly to the M4A4. 75mm gun only. Only a few dozen of this variant were built and none were used in combat. U.S. Sherman based vehicles, variants without the M4 designation but built on the M4 medium chassis, 105mm howitzer motor carriage M7B1, self propelled 105mm howitzer motor carriage based on the M4A3 Sherman chassis. 155mm gun motor carriage M12, self-propelled 155mm gun motor carriage. Cargo carrier M30, cargo carrier, 155mm gun motor carriage M40, self-propelled 155mm GMC based on the M4A3 chassis. 8 in howitzer motor carriage M43, self-propelled 8 inch HMC. 3 in gun motor carriage M10. Tank destroyer based on the M4A2 Sherman chassis. 3 in gun motor carriage M10A1, same as the M10, but based on the M4A3 Sherman chassis. 90mm gun motor carriage M36, tank destroyer based on M10A1 hull. Standard model. 90mm gun motor carriage M36B1, tank destroyer based on M4A3 Sherman hull and chassis. Expedient model. 90mm gun motor carriage M36B2, tank destroyer based on M10 hull. Expedient model. Tank recovery vehicle M32, based on M4 chassis with turret replaced by fixed superstructure, 60.000 pounds winch and an 18 feet long pivoting A-frame jib installed. An 81mm mortar was also added into the hull, primarily for screening purposes. Tank recovery vehicle M32B1, M32S converted from M4A1S. Tank recovery vehicle M32A1B1, M32B1s with HVSS, later removing the 81mm mortar and incorporating crane improvements. Tank recovery vehicle M32B2, M32s converted from M4A2s. Tank recovery vehicle M32B3, M32s converted from M4A3s. Tank recovery vehicle M32A1B3, M32B3s brought to the same standard as the M32A1B1. Tank recovery vehicle M32B4, M32s converted from M4A4s. M74 tank recovery vehicle, 
upgrade of the M32 to provide the same capability with regards to heavier post-war tanks, converted from M4A3 HVSS tanks. In appearance the M74 is very similar to the M32, fitted with an A-frame crane, a main towing winch, an auxiliary winch, and a manual utility winch. The M74 also has a front-mounted spade that can be used as a support or as a dozer blade. M74B1, same as the M74, but converted from M32B3S. M34 Prime Mover, M32B1 TRV converted to the artillery tractor role. 24 vehicles were converted by Chester Tank Depot in 1944. U.S. Special Attachment Variants Rocket Firing, Flamethrower, Mine Clearing, Amphibious, Engineer Mostly Experimental, Sherman DD, Amphibious M4 M4 Mobile Assault Bridge, M4 Dozer, fitted with M1 or M2 Dozer Blade T-15 E2, series of mine-resistant Shermans based on the T-14 kit Cancelled at war's end Mine exploders slash mine excavators, fitted with various mine exploding devices including plungers, rollers, mortars. Most of those remained experimental vehicles. Mine exploder T1E1 roller, discs made from armor plate. Mine exploder T1E2 roller, two Ford units with seven discs only. Experimental. Mine exploder T1E3 per meter one roller, Two Ford units with five 10 feet discs. Most widely used T1 variant, adopted is the M1. Mine Exploder T1E4 Roller, 16 discs. Mine Exploder T1E5 Roller, T1E3 per meter one with smaller wheels. Experimental. Mine Exploder T1E6 Roller, T1E3 per meter one with serrated edge discs. Experimental, Mine Exploder T2 Flail. British Sherman Crab I Mine Flail. Mine Exploder T3 Flail, based on British Scorpion Flail. Development stopped in 1943. Mine Exploder T3E1 Flail, T3 with longer arms and sand filled rotor. Cancelled. Mine Exploder T3E2 Flail, E1 variant, rotor replaced with steel drum of larger diameter. Development terminated at war's end. Mine Exploder T4, British Crab 2 Mine Flail. Mine Exploder T7, frame with small rollers with two discs each. Abandoned. Mine Exploder T8, steel plungers on a pivot frame designed to pound on the ground. Vehicle steering was adversely affected. Mine Exploder T9 6 feet roller. Difficult to maneuver. Mine Exploder T9 E1, lightened version but proved unsatisfactory because it failed to explode all mines. Mine Exploder T-10, remote control unit designed to be controlled by the following tank. Cancelled. Mine Exploder T-11-6 forward firing mortars to set off mines. Experimental. Mine Exploder T-12-23 forward firing mortars. Apparently effective, but cancelled. Mine Exploder T-14, Direct modification to a Sherman tank, upgraded belly armor and reinforced tracks. Cancelled. Mine excavator T4, plow device. Developed during 1942, but abandoned. Mine excavator T5 E2, T4 variant with V-shaped plow. E1 slash E2 was a further improvement. Mine excavator T5 E3. T5 E1 slash E2 rigged to the hydraulic lift mechanism from the M1 dozer kit to control depth. Mine excavator T6, based on the V-shaped T5, unable to control depth. Mine excavator T2 E2, based on the T4 per ton fives, but rigged to the hydraulic lift mechanism from the M1 dozer kit to control depth. Rocket launchers, rocket launcher T34. Armed with 64 6 rocket tubes mounted above the turret. Saw limited combat in 1944 to 1945. Rocket launcher T 34 E1, T 34 with 14 tubes in the two bottom units. Rocket launcher T 34 E2, T 34 modified to accept 7.2 inches rockets. Rocket launcher T 39, enclosed box mount with doors, 
with 27.2 inches rockets. Rocket launcher T-40 per meter 17 whiz-bang, armed with 27.2 inches rockets. Saw limited combat in 1944-45. A short variant of the T-40 was also developed, but saw little usage. Rocket launcher T-72, T-34 short tube variant. Never used. Rocket launcher T-73, similar to the T-40, but with only 10 tubes. Never used. Rocket launcher T-76, M4A1 with 7.2 inches rocket launcher in place of main gun. Never used. Rocket launcher T-105, M4A1 with rocket case instead of main gun. Never used. Multiple rocket launcher T-99-2 box mounts with 22 4.5 inches rockets, mounted on the turret. Never used. Flamethrowers, M4A3 or 3 flamethrower, also known as Zippo tanks, or more commonly flame tanks. M4 Sherman Crocodile, M4 tank modified with a flamethrower and fuel trailer from a Churchill Crocodile. Four built and issued to 739th Tank Battalion which was attached to the 29th Division for Operation Grenade in February 1945, where they cleared the old citadel in the town of Jalaych. After the Rhine had been crossed, they were attached to 2nd Armored Division but saw little further use. Lend-Lease Service The M4 Sherman series were widely distributed to Allied armies under the Lend-Lease program. Variants served in all theaters, and were the basis of a number of conversions for various uses including armored personnel carriers and specialized engineering vehicles. Post-war variants The M4 Sherman pattern enjoyed a lengthy post-war service all over the world. They were used well into the 1960s and 1970s by some nations, mainly in Africa and Latin America. In some cases the vehicles were converted for use in a variety of other roles from mobile artillery to ambulances. Conversions were also made for use in civilian industry. Notes and references. External links. T1E1 Earthworm at lonnecentry.com.